construction problems, how it is different from international urban planning and what impact it may have on the city? Uh -huh. I think um, the, uh, th this competition is a wonderful opportunity to consider on what do we do with uh, industrial areas that are in the cities and they become at some point obsolete, either because science advances and we have new ways of doing things, or because uh, we simply need to move these facilities uh, outside of the city. So it's a great opportunity to think on the issues of uh, adaptive reuse, of healthy environments, because all these are very pollutive environments, and of creating quality of life uh, in an area that is so close to the city center. Okay. And um, in today's survey, uh, we want to hand, uh, Hangang Industrial Plan area and visit Zhao Wangcheng site. And I believe you have a certain understanding of the history and culture of Handan. Mm -hmm. And what's your uh, impression of Handan? Do you have any preliminary, uh, preliminary ideas about the design thought of this competition? Yeah, I was very um, pleasant. I was very impressed uh, by the by the site because it has a specific, a certain. How can I say? It is a very charming site with all these facilities. Uh, industrial facilities and it has all these bridges uh, on top and all these chimneys and it creates all these tensions uh, in space. So in terms of spatial experience when you walk in the site, it might be an industrial area but it has, um, it is very interesting. And then I think um, the, the coexistence, let's say, of the old historic city close to the site also creates a very interesting opportunity to think about what, how we are going to link these two in the future. And also what was very impressive for me is the fact that um, while we were having the visit in the factory and we were listening about the history of it, that there was actually a lot of knowledge that was transferred to other cities. And I think this idea of exporting knowledge from Handan to other cities is something that we can use for the future development of the site. Maybe with education or other facilities. Okay. And at present, the, de the development of Chinese, uh, China cities began to, uh, to lose the development uh, dividends of the past and gradually enter the time of stop based during this period. Urban renewal has become a new growth point, point in the process of urbanization. And as a city planner, what do you think of the change of this stage of social uh, development and its impact on urban planning? What kind of social um, responsibility should urban planners take care? Mm -hmm. I think uh, nowadays uh, one of the m most important problems is that whenever we do this urban renewal, as we say, uh, most of the times it is followed by this kind of gentrification that actually pushes uh, people that already live in an area away because they cannot afford living in these new areas anymore. So I think one of our responsibilities is to actually uh, create a better place, uh, for, first of all, for the people who already live in this area and integrate them in the future of the, of the uh, revived area, let's say. Okay. Mm. And uh, industrial heritage uh, condensed the development imprint of a city and is closely to related to China's modernization process. And China plans to basically realize a socialist modernization in, in the 15 years. And therefore, industrial heritage of the city is closely related to the memory of urban residents in the city. Can you talk about how to treat industrial heritage uh, from the professional perspective of urban planning based on your past work experience and the current situation of Hangang. Uh, How can industrial heritage find its own future development head? I think, uh, like I, I also mentioned uh, earlier in the conference, uh, 
in the conference, um, no, in the press conference, mm. is that I think that um, cities have an amazing ability to adapt. Mm. And I think that uh, industrial heritage uh, can lead to very unique places with very unique identities. So I think uh, we shouldn't be afraid to even imagine uh, putting a uh, living in these areas and uh, making them into very vibrant neighborhoods. So I think that um, uh, it is important uh, to keep them and uh, we should try to find new ways of living in them. Yeah. Okay. And at the same time, we also notice some voices and I think that some problems may be faced in the process of transformation of industrial heritage areas in the cities, such as treatment of remaining yes. industrial pollution, mm -hmm. uh, which may cause a large number of costs. Mm -hmm. And so the cost uh, invested is far higher than the cost of directly construction. So uh, what do you think of the arguments as a design force, how do you think to balance the contra uh, contra uh, con contradiction between the investment and the return cost by uh, industrial heritage transformation? Mm -hmm. I think that um, it is true mm -hmm. that it is quite costly to try and remediate, uh, for example, soil in very polluted industrial areas. and. Uh, this may uh, create questions about whether this is a, the cost may create questions about whether it is a good idea to uh, to, to reuse them or not. Mm -hmm. However, I think that uh, every case uh, is special, and one needs to to, buy, to to check advantages and disadvantages. I would say that uh, one of the um, if it is costly to, rem to uh, remediate uh, uh, an area, uh, then maybe there is a very good business plan that uh, can go hand in hand with the urban plan and uh, the urban uh, development. Maybe the uses that we put uh, there are able to create a lot of revenue for uh, the rest of the city. So maybe, um, I don't know how we measure cost and profit, right? Because if we create a very nice neighborhood that people can use and be happy and have quality of life, mm -hmm. then this is already something uh, very, very worth the effort. And the other thing I would like to add is that, um, yes, it might be expensive, but at the same time, if we need growth in a city, uh, it might be m now, w w with all these environmental problems, it might be more costly for us to expand the city outwards. So maybe we need to expand in these areas, and this has a value. Yeah? Not right now. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Okay, thank you also. Let's see. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.